Hello, Cancer. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your monthly tarot card reading for December 2023. Thank you so much if you already subscribed to the channel and welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you enjoyed the reading, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. So Cancer, take what resonates, leave the rest, and let's just jump into your reading. Now, each row represents each week in December. We're going to take a look at your tarot cards first and see if there's a collective message, and then I will go back to each week. But first, before I forget, let's take a look at what's being suggested for you as a crystal for December. So what does Cancer need for December? Lapetalite. It concerns trust. It involves your third eye and crown chakra. All right. Let's take a look at the energy for your first week. You have the King of Rods. Okay. Second week, you have the Page of Swords. Third week, Major Arcana card, the World. Beautiful. And the last week, the Knight of Pentacles. Well, that certainly makes sense. Uh, there could be a fire sign. Um, King of Rods is mainly Leo. Could um, There could be some involvement with a Leo. Alerts you to the truth of something. Warns you ahead of time. With the world card in the Knight of Pentacles, something's coming to a close and then right on the heels, there's something new coming in. So first half of the month, maybe you're being warned, you're being advised to the truth of a matter at hand. You know, you have the Lepetalite crystal here. That is your third eye and crown chakras, it's in regards to trust. This is trust with your inner guiding voice. Trust your intuition. And the third eye is your perception on things. And I feel that um, someone is making you aware of something in the first half of the month here. Which is going to cause possibly this reaction here um, where you might leave. There might be something coming to a close. But then right behind it, maybe um, there's a new opportunity that you're taking advantage of. It could be news that you find out that leads you to this energy. So kicking off the first week, yes, the King of Rods. This is Leo's card in energy. Um, we do see an opportunity here. There's growth on the wand. This is kind of like an entrepreneurial spirit. So for some of you... Um, you could be adapting the traits of the King of Rods here, King of Wands. Like I said, it's about taking the lead in regards to something. It's um, very excellent in business, entrepreneurial energy abound here. So you could be um, possibly getting something off the ground, taking the lead on something. It also could be you're um, in charge of a group. Um or you're headed that way. Kind of, um, this could be someone that alerts you to the truth, or you could be um, really adapting these characteristics where you're moving forward with a project, something that you wanted to do. Let's look at your tea leaf card. Tree, affairs with your family. Well, definitely could be something in regards to your family. This could actually be, uh, a family member, maybe the matriarch of the family I'm picking up for some cancers. Let's clarify. Oh, there's good news coming in. This is something new um, here. There's growth here on these wands. Um, kind of like um, the, um, the cliffs back here. That's, um, that's something new developing for your personal growth. Sometimes it's portrayed as a pyramid, but um, this is like a cliff in the background, you know, the mountains in the background. Any kind of challenges are over and done with at this time. This is good news coming in. And 
in the second week here, you're finding out the truth to something. You're, you're getting some news, and that could be the good news coming in. You're moving forward. Do you see how kind of looking back what's behind you, but now with the swords, and still, you know, he's carrying the swords in both hands. It's not, you know, the fighting spirit. It's moving forward, and um, we have white clouds here, so that's excellent. Um, it's very positive energy. It's good news coming in. And um, it can be that the King of Wands here is alerting you to the truth. Something new that's coming in maybe giving you good news. It could be someone that in your family giving you good news. Um, it could also be um, you're adapting the traits of the King of Rods. There's just, there's good news coming in. There's truth coming in. There's messages, guidance. Let's see what else for the second week. Wind chimes, peace and harmony. This is very positive energy here. This is not like finding out something that you didn't know and then you have to deal with. Let's clarify. The queen of swords. Okay, the sword energy. And she's kind of holding, look at this. She's kind of holding the wand in the same manner. Interesting. Very peaceful energy, but having mental clarity in the second week. Knowing what, um, you know, uh, with the good news coming in, some kind of good news. Something you're finding out, being able to move forward, because we have this beautiful energy here, the major arcana card, the world. This is change coming in. This could be some kind of new opportunity where you're stepping through this portal into new beginnings. It's the 21 energy of the world, which reduces down to three. That is something new is coming about. It's coming into your existence. This is the good news, having that mental clarity, moving forward. So it's something where you're not going to be caught off guard. So it could be that maybe you had been looking for another job. You have one, but you're looking for something else. And you're able to give your notice at your existing job and then transform immediately into um, the new job. It's all going to be smooth sailing. So it's that kind of energy. Let's look at the tea leaf message. Tent, temporary situation. This transition is very short with the world card. This message with this is like somebody pitching the tent at night and then by morning they're gone. So it's just a temporary transition, very short. Let's clarify. Well, you're not going to have to really persevere. This is hanging in there in case you are doubtful. There could be something that, that comes up that's making you think things aren't going to go through smoothly. Just hang in there. You've got the eight. There's an influence here that's going to push everything through. You got the one of the fixed signs is the lion energy. So it is um, something that is very short lived if there is any kind of hiccup in regards to this transition you're going through. Last week here, you do have the Knight of Pentacles. It is one of the slowest of the nights, almost at a standstill at times. Um, this is um, making sure all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted. You know, because this is this is planting the new seeds for your future. This is moving forward. Beautiful, um, you know, sun energy, you know, in the background, moving forward with your plan, something that is in the material world. This could be moving forward with, um, with it being pentacles, certainly can be money, finances, investments. It can relate to your job, maybe moving forward with a new job or a new position. It um, is something that is long lasting, building that solid foundation. So certainly can be the beginning of like new investments or a new job. Um, pentacles can also be in regards to your health and well-being um, at the, um, the end of December, you might be making some resolutions, some new resolutions for the new year. Tea leaf, we've got man, dealings or relationships with a man that could be involved somehow in the new beginnings. Let's clarify 
See if we can get any more uh, information with uh, who this man is. What is his role? Oh, the King of Wands. Okay, he shows up at the beginning of the month and the end of the month. So this actually could be somebody that's offering you some kind of opportunity. It's mentioned at the beginning of the month, and then you're thinking about it, having that mental clarity. Here's your transitional week. Boom. It could be one and the same. Let's clarify. Things will work out as they were meant to. Wow. So Lepetalite Crystal this month, as um, you need to just put your faith in how um, the cards are indicating everything's going to work out. Third eye is your perception on things. So um, you did have the strength card come up about don't give up, persevere. But uh, the crown shock, your connection with spirit, source, listening to your intuition, your gut instincts. Um, there's something possibly with the family. This could be the um, head of the family. There's some good news coming in, mental clarity. Something might be wrapping up. You do have this beautiful energy with the world card. A very fulfilling energy where something is wrapping up and closing and something new is beginning. You know, it's temporary if there's a little bit of a hiccup in this third week, but you are planting the seeds for your future. It was or it is something that is meant to be. It's um, all going to work out as it was intended. And again, you have the King of Wands showing up, a Leo individual, possibly um, there throughout the entire month of December, guiding um, this transitional energy. Something that's going to be very um, long-lasting, um, setting up a fantastic foundation for the future. So looks wonderful, Cancer. So thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, please be sure to subscribe, like the video, share a comment as it all helps the channel grow. Visit my website for a more in-depth private reading. But love and abundance to my Cancer family.